Yeah, you're hiding some secrets, aren't you? Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. About a year ago, I was in the market for a new computer, and I wasn't really struck by anything I saw. There was all these different cases that are wall-mounted, and front panel is, like, hidden, and RGB, and I just, I didn't vibe with any of them. That was until one day, I was out for a run, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw something acrylic, smooth-edged silver. Power Mac G4 Quicksilver Edition. It had a couple scuffs and scrapes, and it had a post-it note on top of it which said, please take. So, naturally, I please took, because it was love at first sight. This thing was packing heat. An 867 megahertz G4 processor, RAM, it had some, an 80 gigabyte hard disk drive, a sound card, and a CD-ROM drive hidden within that little flap right there. So, I took all of those parts and immediately yeeted them to the nearest dumpster and swapped it out with some of my own pieces. Well, this thing has the perfect outer shell for a sleeper PC. Apple likes it hot, like really hot. Like, I'm surprised this thing was able to run hot. There's an exhaust fan right about here, and what happens is it blows air somewhat through a hole in the back of the computer, but also just straight into this plastic shell. And this plastic shell doesn't open up on any side to the outside world. In fact, just there's holes in underneath it in the chassis, so hot air goes into the shell and then just blows right back into the computer making it completely useless. So, through a painstaking build process that took about the course of a year, I fixed that airflow issue, and I added the following. A front-mounted USB 3 and HDMI pass-through for a VR headset. Corsair semi-modular RMX 750 watt power supply, an ASRock B350M board, which don't get, don't get that board. I got it and I had to RMA it and it took a month for it to get back to me. 32 gigs of RAM clocking at 2666 megahertz, a Ryzen 7 1700X because it was on sale, cheaper than the 1700, and I didn't need the cooler because I knew I was gonna have to cool it myself, and a Vegas 64 since cryptocurrency has bitten the dust. Rest in peace. Oh, and on top of that, it's a dual-booting Windows and Hackintosh machine. An all-AMD Windows and Hackintosh dual-booting machine. I chose to make this thing part Hackintosh because I just, I like how Apple feels. I like their ecosystem, I like that it's based off of Unix, and I use Final Cut Pro to edit all of my videos. So I couldn't really go without it. Do I recommend Ryzen for a Hackintosh machine? No! For the love of God, if you're gonna make a Hackintosh, go with an Intel processor. Don't go with AMD. You're gonna to have to get a cracked kernel somewhere. You're not gonna be able to have it updated to the most recent version. It's just, it's not worth the headache. It, it took me two different installs to make it run, and even though it's stable-ish now, if I'm doing a heavier workload, like I have a plus 10 minute video that I'm editing and there's a lot of edits in there, the thing will just crash sometimes when it's processing, and I'm still trying to work out those kinks. So Nick, in the, in the editing room, how many times has Hackintosh crashed on you while you were editing this very video? Quack. Now do you want to build a Power Mac G4 Hackintosh dual booting Windows machine that is all AMD? You can! You can do that. You just have to follow these simple steps. <gasps> I love that calipers are just pointy metal. For band that's like 20 years old, I still find. Front IO opening mechanism. So I'm gonna have to replace this to free up some space with one of these guys. Here it is. This is the H bridge. And I can terminal on the fourth part of the H bridge connected. To see Jeff Rosenstock in concert, that was pretty incredible. I had these two original dividers to sort of just push the air around. So we have a 1.5 millimeter lift on the top side.
the reservoir pump combo piece has now been completed. It looks so much better. No drivers. It just works. And that's it. Easy. So, thank you for coming to my domicile. I... I love this thing. I, this has been my baby for the past year. I've been working on it and reworking it, but now I have the best PC that I've ever had in my entire life. I can edit videos, I can make 3D models, I can make games. I can... I, I have no restrictions anymore. I can make anything I want to make. Thank you.